Good morning again, YouTube. I have to say that I am very glad I did not move to Nebraska any earlier in the winter. Because this is just sad. I have not seen the sun in a week. working on today. These are a collection of Marvel premiums. So you mail in like a, a box lid or your wrappers and if you earn enough points then you can get a premium. And these are the different Marvel figures. And this one actually is still in its original packaging and has its original box. Is pretty nifty. There you go. And I guess these were produced in Hastings in the 1940s. So they're pretty cool, except for that guy who's missing his head. He's kind of creepy. But pretty nifty. And they actually, uh, she actually got this one off of eBay. <laughs> um, some guy was trying to sell it on eBay and she contacted him and asked him if he would donate it since it was made in. He seems and he did. So, it's kind of cool. Well, hello again. I'm on my way home from work. And actually, we just had a kind of fun event after work. We got to preview the new Super Screen movie. Um, I want to say IMAX. That's essentially what it is, but it's not the IMAX brand. So we can't actually call it IMAX. It's like a Super Screen... If you've seen an IMAX movie, it's an IMAX movie. It's just not the IMAX brand. Anyway, a documentary about the Andretti's, the Mario Andretti and Michael Andretti. It's actually from the 90s, like 96 or 97, but they, they're getting it back. They've had it before, they got it back. So the employees had a free preview today, so we got to go watch it. And I have to say, all it's fun, all I wanted to do since then is drive really fast. And I saw a Mustang leaving the parking lot doing exactly what I would have done if I had a Mustang, which is like speeding out of the parking lot. And I really missed my Mustang. And although I like my little Mazda and it's cute and it's peppy, it is not the same as driving my Mustang. Burn. So I know I've mentioned my Mustang before and that I had a Mustang before this car, but I don't think I've ever told the story. Um, I, just, I just got this car in August because I had to give up my Mustang. I'd had the Mustang for six years, and my dad had the Mustang for three years before that, before it became my car. It became my baby. I had a car before the Mustang. I had a 2000 Neon that was a lemon and was constantly having issues, and it was such a big pain in the butt. So I had the car for six years, and I loved it. And then this past summer, it started overheating, so I took it in, and originally it was just, oh, it's a quick fix. You've got a valve that's not working right. So they fixed it for $700. And all was good and well for the next month. I was, everything was fine, my car was back to normal, I was happy camper. And then a month after taking it in, having the $700 fix, took it back in again, because it overheated, same exact thing I did the last time. So it was summer, it was like 95 degrees and Denver and so I just assumed that maybe they hadn't fixed it properly it was gonna be an easy fix again take it in I already paid the $700 Ford would fix it so I took it in this time they told me your engine's done it's just done can't do anything for it so like well your only option is to buy a new like used engine or I mean we can repair it but it's worth it's gonna cost more than your car is worth basically so I took, I went and got a second opinion. Second opinion price was much cheaper. Actually, went, I 
got three opinions because <laughs> I was desperate to get my car fixed. When the cheapest one was still like $1,200, trade in value for a 2001 Mustang was like $1,700. I'd already paid $700, so it really wasn't worth it. And even if we fixed the engine instead of buying a new engine, that's what we were planning to do for the $1,200 was just fixing the engine. No guarantee it's gonna last. We could pay $1,200 and then the next week the engine could explode, you know? There's no guarantee that what they were fixing was gonna last. And so I was put an investment in a car that might have other issues. And if the engine had been bad, who knows what else had been bad. So it broke my heart. I cried multiple times over losing my baby. Oh, it was horrible, but I had to finally just man up and trade it in. And of course, the dealership that I bought this car at, they took it, put a new engine in it, and sold it for $7,000. So I know someone else has it. I know they sold it, it wasn't like sold for scrap metal. I'm sure someone else is enjoying my baby, who is named Torpedo, by the way. I'm hoping someone, a big Mustang enthusiast, has it and is taking care of it, because I miss my baby. This is how I'm spending my Tuesday night. Tiny on Tiny Chat. Exciting evening. But that's what Tuesdays are about. I'm trying to get more into the Tiny Chat thing. So that's what I do on my Tuesday evenings. Chat with these people. Maybe having like a little chip talking to you, and then next thing you know, it just shuts off. It's like, what the heck? Whole bunch of YouTubers. So, alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to Wings with, I guess, one of my roommates, so that'll be exciting, and uh, I should get out of the house for a little bit, so. Alright, I'm going to start editing. Good night.